Hi, this is Steve from the G Suite Tips team here in the UK, and you can find us at our website, gsuitetips.com. You can follow us on Twitter, you can follow us on Google+, and you can, of course, follow along our YouTube channel and watch these videos. Um, today's tip is to show you how to create a team calendar in, obviously, calendars. So here I've got calendars open, uh, the calendar app, and um, I can see a number of um, calendars in, in here. Uh, my colleague Mark's, I can turn on and see if he's got any events, which he has. But I want to show you how to create another calendar. So I've got my own calendar, and I can see my um, my colleagues' calendars. I can add a calendar here by clicking on the plus, and I can say new calendar. I should point out we're in the new calendar application, okay? And I'm going to create a new calendar within it. So here I go, click. I need to give it a name. I'm going to call this um, Team Social, okay? And social events for our team imagining that we had time to go out and be social we can set a time zone obviously i'm in london time zone at least okay and i've got the owner here and the organization that it's in and i'm going to create the calendar now once it's created it should show up over here under my calendars it says creation in progress down here i'm hoping that finishes soon and i get my new calendar come on google Okay, it says created and it gives me the option to configure it. So I'm going to click on the configure. And now we can see we've got some more options. Okay, now I could make it available to the public. That might be appropriate if it was like a marketing calendar or an events calendar or something. And I can make it available for everyone within the organization to see. Yeah, it's not secret. Okay. Um, but I can also share specific people. So I'm the owner of this. So I'm down to make changes and manage sharing. But I'm going to add somebody. I'm going to add my colleague Mark, okay, by putting his name in there. I could add more, and I can give them different permission levels. So at the moment, he can see all event details, but obviously he's part of the organization, so he could do that anyway. I'm going to click here on the drop down. I could say only free busy and hide the details, make changes to the events, or make changes and manage sharing. So I'm going to imagine that um, I'm going to own the calendar, and Mark here is going to be able to also schedule events within it. Okay, so I've updated that and if I click send you'll get a notification to say this has been shared to you okay and it says settings saved so I'm going to come back out of settings back into the calendar again and now I can see that I've got um, the team social calendar he says where's it gone um, there it is team social and I could change the color on that let's make it bright red tomato okay and now if i want to create an event in there let's say we're going to go out for um a pizza on friday after work so let's make it uh, six o'clock okay i'm going to click on more options and i'm going to say team pizza night now at the moment by default this should be creating into my calendar but i'm going to change that to make it the team social calendar and then I'm going to add some guests. So I might add myself, uh, Steve, and I might add Mark. That's giving me um, a helpful hint there about how to edit things. Meanwhile, I'm going to do what I was going to do, which is add Mark. Okay, and I've got my guests added. And it's in the team social calendar, as you can see. Default would have been in my own one. I've got access to Mark's calendar as well, but this is going in team social. So when I save this, uh, it will send invitations to those that I've invited. And we should see now it's in my calendar. Uh, what color am I? I'm, I'm in um, kind of purpley color. Mark's in um, green and the team social is in, in red. So it's actually turned up in everyone's calendar. And if I go through to my own one um, and I click yes, Okay, I've agreed to go in my one, and if I look in the team one, we can see that Steve's agreed to come along, accepted the invite. Mark has yet to re yet to reply. Okay, that's just one use for it. So you might have um, a team calendar like this, perhaps to uh, if you have a team of different people that could resort the events in the calendar and then later on you might invite someone to that event in order that they can fulfill that commitment. Um, you could use it as I am here with like a social calendar or a marketing events calendar, all sorts of things. 
And of course, you could make a say a marketing events calendar um, visible to the world, and you could then maybe uh, add it to your website. And so your website's updated with events using the calendar plugin from Google and a feed from Google Calendars. So I trust that will make sense. Just to recap, we clicked on plus, we added new calendar, we added the name and description. Once I've created it, I could then go through and I'll do it on this one. Click on the dots here, change the color you want to display it in. Okay, look at the settings, look at the sharing. Okay, available to public, available to the domain, and then add people individually and give them different levels uh, of access. And that really is it, team calendars. So have a play with that, see how you get on. And thank you very much for watching. Reminder, we're at gsuitetips.com. You can find us on Twitter, follow us on G+, and, of course, the YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.